All right, guys, by now you've probably heard that Sabre Tactical has come out with a fishing kit. So I'm gonna go over that today, how to turn your impact, just your regular impact for shooting pellets or slugs into a fishing machine, okay? So real quick, it's gonna end up looking like this, okay? And it's really, really simple to do. I mean, we can do the switch over in under five minutes. So it's not a complicated thing, but it is a whole new world of fun to be able to fish with an air gun. And guys do it from the East Coast, from Florida all the way to California. I mean, there's stingrays, there's carp, there's um, alligator gar. I mean, you, you name it, just regular gar. Um, lots and lots of things to fish with this. And it is crazy accurate and crazy powerful. So let me go over how to do that. First off, your fishing kit is going to come with uh, several things. You're gonna have a stainless steel barrel, okay? That's what's gonna replace your pellet barrel in your gun. So stainless steel barrel is gonna come with two arrows, regular, you know, fiberglass arrows with your slide. Uh, at the end of the arrow, we've got basically a, a plug here and we've got a retaining ring that will help hold that arrow inside of your barrel when you're aiming downwards, okay? I'll go over that here in a minute. It's gonna come with a barrel band slash guide, okay? And I'll go over installing that and why we have it designed the way that we do. It's gonna come with a couple adapt of adapters, okay? These adapters make it so when you buy this kit, you're not just, you don't just have to just get one reel, right? You're gonna have a lot of different options. So this, this one's specifically built for your regular fishing reels, right? This slides in, that connects, you can tighten this and then obviously tighten your set screws here to make it all super solid. So this one is for this regular reel and you can get a reel like this from Walmart for 30 bucks, right? 30, 40 bucks and they work awesome, okay? We've got another adapting kit right here. Has a big block on it right there. So that's gonna hook. This will hook to your Picatinny on the bottom of your impact. This one, this one in particular, we built for a very popular reel. It's called the Muzzy Pro. Here's just a picture of it on Amazon. And if you look, you can see the middle bracket on the back. This block fits into that bracket, okay? And what you'll do, <clears throat> take out that screw, fit it in the bracket, put the screw back in, and you're ready to go. That's it. So really, really simple. And then you've got this piece of Picatinny that if you take off the block and you want to use this Mega Mouth, we have an extender that will work with the Mega Mouth so that when you shoot, you can engage the clutch from here. Engage the clutch and reel. So depending on what reel that you use, um, pros and cons to, to different reels. This one's a free spooling reel, meaning that when you put in the arrow, you cock, you can shoot it. You don't have to remember to do anything. Um, and then the clutch doesn't engage until you engage it manually right here. Benefit to that is you don't ever have to worry about breaking your string, okay? So if you didn't press a button or take your bell and open it, and shoot, you're not gonna break your string, right? Versus with other reels, or like a reel with a, a, a bell that flips up, you gotta flip the bell up, or like on the Muzzy Pro, you gotta press a button before you take that shot, right? So just some things to remember uh, when you're setting up. Okay, I'm gonna go, go ahead and switch this over here for you. Like I said, we're gonna take this gun and switch it over to a fishing kit. Now, it's designed for a 30 cal probe. Okay, the, the entrance to our, our stainless steel barrel. We've already changed out this probe to a 30 cal. So if you have a regular 30 cal probe, you don't have to do anything, just leave it in there. But you're going to first off, take a three millimeter and loosen that screw right here to the barrel. Pop your barrel out like that. We're gonna take our barrel and insert it. I'll just make sure that it lines up here and we're lined up. That easy. Tighten up that little grub screw on your barrel. Next up, we're gonna take this barrel band and put it on here, right? And you'll just slap it over the barrel itself. It's got some rubberized piece in here to grip to your bottle better. That just comes over down to the end of your bottle. And then again, number three, basically the, 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 the two Allen wrenches you need is a 2.5 and a three for this kit. Mostly you'll be using the three. Now, the way we have this set up, this acts as a guide for that string to 
come back into your reel and spool it perfectly back into your reel. It also helps strengthen this whole system up. So when you're when you shot a fish or whatever you shot and you're reeling it in and wrenching on it like this, this helps tie everything in so this barrel is, is much more strong, okay? So really simple. Now, we're gonna go ahead and set up just a regular fishing reel on here, okay? So I like to take this apart, just take it completely out, set the gun upside down so that comes out. We can set the gun upside down like this, put that on here. Those two screws go through the Picatinny and then you just tighten it back up. I mean, literally guys, this takes minutes to do, to convert over to a fishing rig. So now we're good, right? We've got a reel on the bottom, we've got our barrel, we've got a barrel band. The string is gonna need to come through that guide right there. And then next up, you're gonna take and put your arrow in like that, and you're gonna connect to your slide right there. And that band, right, makes it so that arrow doesn't just come out when you're shooting. Um, that little retaining clip that we have inside. Now, as far as attaching this to the arrow, I do want to go over one thing with you. We found with this heavier line like this to keep it from, to untangle quicker. If you take a little um, swivel and put in between the two, like you just take a little piece of string, hook to a swivel and then connect this to the swivel, that tends to unwind it a lot faster, right? And then as far as a knot, uh, you can look up bowline knot. That's a really good knot to, to tie with. Really, really strong um, to pull with when you're trying to pull your arrow out of there and not break your knot. But really simple, um, but that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it, that's how you convert your FX impact into a fish killing machine. Now, we have our TRS rail mounted on both of these guns. Really, really, really like this rail. Um, it's, it's forward enough that you can take a red dot, you can put it here, you can put it right there in the front, which would actually make it just super quick acquisition for finding that fish or whatever you're gonna be shooting at. But this rail will give you a lot of options for mounting a laser to the side, um, your red dot, whatever you wanna to mount to, putting our TRS rail in combination with the fishing kit is just, is just amazing, guys. It is so much fun to be able to go and do. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us. Uh, talk to your dealer um, about this, but it is it is a next level product that we've come out with that is going to make your experience of shooting air guns that much more enjoyable.